PLC Network here at CES 2023, and we are at the TP Link booth, and I'm standing next to Bobby. How are you doing, Bobby? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. This is such a fun show this year. So much better than last year. Last year was uh, very, uh, well, empty. Yeah. <laughs> it was very empty. This, you know, this is what CES is more supposed to look like. This is fantastic, and especially when we see some great companies like TP-Link show up with some really fun technology and products. And uh, what TP-Link has, uh, you have a lot. You have everything. You have smart home. You have, ro you know, robotics. You have so many great things to talk about. But one of the big things this year is Wi-Fi 7. That's right. You know, we're, uh, in fact, one of my colleagues just said, you know, we're just kind of we didn't skip past six, but it just seems like six came out yesterday. Yeah. It kind of feels that way. And we're already at seven. And seven's a big deal. Yes. And TP-Link already has a foot in the market here, ready for it this year. So for one, uh, let's talk about what is Wi-Fi 7? What makes it better than six? Sure. Um, Wi-Fi 7 has um, greatly increased speed and latency compared to the previous generation, which is the Wi-Fi 6E. Um, we're able to do that with a couple new technology and um, some of the technology that has been improved which builds on the previous technology of Wi-Fi 6. Um, the new technology is the multi-link operation technology where you're, you're able to take use of all of the bands simultaneously. Um, so that gives a significant boost to your Wi-Fi speeds. And then there is a multi-RU uh, technology which enhances um, each of the data pack which um, reduces the um, interference by using preamble puncturing, um, and that significantly reduces the latency between the transmission. So what SIX brought to the, uh, the industry is uh, extreme multi-gigabit bandwidth, which yes. was fun, and reliable bandwidth. Right. So now we're seeing you know, like any kind of enhancement to any protocol or standard. You know, you're always going to get better connectivity, more speed, more mm -hmm. this, more that, just little upgrades. But seven is actually a pretty big deal. Yes, that's correct. I mean, that's a huge increase, and you're going to have a much more reliable network. And not only that, so much more bandwidth, mm -hmm. especially now that we're moving towards multi-gigabit internet access. Yep. That's really starting to take off across the United States and other places in the world, and on top of that, uh, it's just how many devices, yeah. because everything, in there, just like this booth, there's dozens upon dozens of devices here that are internet connected, right. you know, on across Wi-Fi. Now you can really not worry so much about how many devices you have in your home. That used to be a really big issue. Yeah, that would actually depend on each of the routers. Uh, so even even uh, if it's Wi-Fi 6, the higher end models could take up to like 220, 250 devices. But you're definitely correct on like at the ever, ever growing number of smart devices in our home. Everything is connected to Wi-Fi. So yeah, it is yep. very important. And that ever demanding growth uh, or just the, the demand for speed, you know, yeah. like everything's going 4K or 8K and, you know, security cameras. You know, I have security cameras in my house that are 4K. 4K. Right. And that was tough to drive off of, you know, Wi-Fi 5. Yeah. You know, you couldn't do it. 6 introduced that ability. 7, it's going to be easy. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, speaking of models, mm -hmm. TP-Link has behind us some really interesting, uh, the, now these aren't in the market yet. These uh, are, this one actually is. This it, one is on the yeah, market. Yeah, this one is ready for, it's on pre-order. Okay, pre-order. Yeah, pre-order. Okay. It's on pre-order on Amazon.com for $700. Okay. Yeah. And so why would one of our viewers want to buy this? So this one. Um, it actually has 16 antennas inside. So that's, you know, the size is pretty big. So, I knew it was know, coming. And they're not just regular 16 antennas. It's, it's a high performing, very good antennas in there. Um, it's also got a LED screen here. Um, there's a pixel LED screen where it could project um, time, weather, um, and also below it, beneath it, um, it has the uh, touch screen display, which shows you uh, real time statistics of your uh, network. Um, not only that, this, this particular product, it also has um, two 10 gig ports. So one coming in and one going out. And then it also has four 2.5 gig ports. And that was going to be one of my uh, big questions right there, is now that we're in Wi-Fi 7, the one thing that Wi-Fi 6 didn't touch hard enough on, and, and it was capable of doing it, but in a lot of the manufacturers outside of Linksys, uh, uh, or not Links, it's actually Netgear, uh, didn't really do it. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the 10 gigabit ports yeah. were just like, you couldn't find them anywhere. So yeah. Except for like, uh, uh, well, I won't mention too many things about other brands, but, but we'll say Nighthawk. There's a certain Nighthawk router that had it, and yeah. it was like the biggest deal. Right, right. You know, and then it went away. Uh huh. You know, like what happened there? You know, uh, and uh, I know I've I've used it once. Uh, uh -huh. In fact, kind of still have it, and uh, and it works really well when yeah. you're trying to tie into some of these multi-gigabit hubs. Mm -hmm. You know, so that was like a big thing. It's just like what happened. And now with Wi-Fi 7, we're going to start seeing that more often now because of the fact that there's so much bandwidth that it's capable of. Yeah, that's correct. So I was actually surprised that number of people who actually had 
access to 10 gig internet. Um, so you know, here I see as the people from like the Silicon Valley, they told me that they already had 10 gig internet. Yep. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, this yeah. is going to be a big year, especially with Google rolling in with fiber everywhere. So that's making a big deal. Right, right. And so we need stuff like this. We need exactly. multi-gigabit modems. We need multi-gigabit networking. And uh, so, and not only that, this looks cool. One of my colleagues described it as like, this is what the Xbox Series X should have looked like. Yeah. Uh, and he's right. It's, yeah. it's, it has a really nice form factor to it. It's neat. It's simple, but it looks nice. It, it, unlike uh, some of the, you know, the routers with all the antennas sticking out, they looked cool. Right. They had that that grr kind of look to it, you know. But well, yeah. How many wives are going to let you just put that on display in the living room? You right, know, where right. this, you'll There's probably a get away with putting it anywhere. Yeah, yeah. So it's a nice design. You have multiple models here, mm -hmm. and uh, each one's uh, going to be probably, I'm sure, capable of just multiple gigabits. Yes. And uh, so what's what's the throughput of this one, like the overall throughput? 24.4 gigabits per second. Wow. 24.4. Yeah. That is a lot. Okay. See, now now I know what I'm upgrading to. <laughs> uh, so this is on pre-order, yes. Amazon.com, to Correct. be able to, to look up uh, more information about this. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, as for the other models, they're just coming out later this year? Yes, later this year. This particular one is called Archer BE900. Yeah, so you could purchase them or pre-order them at Amazon.com, and um, as we go, th we progress through the year, um, each of these models will be released, and this is our flagship here. Okay, so you're starting with the flagship, which is smart. Yeah, that way you can just take the market and just as everybody else is trying to build their way up to it. Uh, as for price points of any of the other ones, uh, is that TBD at the moment? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so you'll have to wait out on some of those. If you don't want to spend the money on this, which obviously not every home is going to want to pay for you know, such a powerful router, you know, sometimes you know, you're know you going to need something more simpler. Uh, probably later, I, you know, by summer, hopefully winter, uh, you'll be able to have a chance to jump into Wi-Fi 7 because it really is going to be a big deal. And especially as some of these other ISPs start to feel that that push coming from Google and everybody else to start, you know, getting into the gigabit atmosphere, uh, it's going to be everywhere. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's awesome to see TP Link working on this and uh, Wi-Fi 7. Yay! This looks really cool. I kind of want one of these, and uh, we can't wait to see what else. Uh, see what these look like when they hit the market. Yeah. So thank you so much, Bobby. This has been great. Thank you. And uh, have a good rest of the show. You too. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.